sinners rejoice. For we will do one sign as we are poor broke bastards. Nah, I just, I'm not ready to summon on this yet. I'm gonna let everybody else get out there pulling out the way. Because I don't care for him. He's no good right now. He's absolutely useless. I've put three videos up showing him being just utterly destroyed. Because you have to blindly attack him to him to be feasible. Unless he's 6'6". Six, six. He's 6'6", six, six, and you just stand there and he gets his ultimate, you're in trouble. That is true. No. He got a silver coin. See, I can read it like a book. I know this game like the back of my hand. Alright, so. First. Yes, I run my my re blah, 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 blah. I turn my graphics down when I'm farming because it allows me to not have to keep my phone plugged in. Oh, that way I can farm overnight, and it's not constantly got the battery pop plugged up, which isn't good for your phone. Um, I said I would do this video and it's something I don't do very often. So, you're having trouble with your assault mode now, Elvis. You didn't listen. People tried to warn you and you are free to play and you summoned anyway and so now you have one, two, maybe even three copies of Salt Mode Meliodas. You have no cosmetics. No way to rank up said cosmetics if you had them. I'm talking to free to play. So if you're sitting there listening to this going, oh, I got a good idea, you're not free to play. I'm talking strictly to real free to play players. I'm not talking to whales, I'm talking to free to play players. Even dolphins, some dolphins may have it with one piece of cosmetic or something like that. But you have now found out that what we all try to tell you is true and you have wasted your time and money. Because he's not usable. He has no support. Well, I have some hope for you. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. Now, anything 4, 6, and under... Well, assault mode Meliodas is absolutely trash as far as his ultimate goes. It's it, it, it's laughable without his buffs slash debuffs. Now, if you're playing a bot, well, of course you're gonna have fun because a bot <clears throat> is going to attack you. But if you're playing a real player, which is what most people want to do. You're going to lose because they're not going to attack you they're going to set up their hand the way they want it maybe do a, a little you know like what I'll do is say if it's Melascula Blue Droll and Assault Mo Melee uh, I'll take the one and I will attack one time and kill Melascula and then I just don't attack no more I just build up my cards until I'm ready and I can tell by looking at them what ult level they are and if they're anything four six and under i just laugh because it's unless you have the buffs and debuffs that go with it it's a joke it's not gonna hurt anything it's not gonna do shit nothing it's it's laughable now once he does his ult 
if he were to somehow be able to gain another ult immediately after, that'd be a different story because he does buff himself when he ults. So, anyway, we're going to go into here where I'm at right now. Uh, let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, I'm going to show you something. Man, Buster has the biggest goddamn titty that I've ever seen in my life. Well, maybe that's not the right one. Uh, da, 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 da. Maybe this is it. Anyway, we'll just do it like this. You see this guy sitting right here? Well, he is... I don't know how do you say it. Maybe this will do it. I swear, boy, I've never in my life. Anyway. Like I was saying. Gother was originally a commandment. The commandment of selflessness. Um, he was locked away by the Demon King. I'm not fencing going into all of why. Blah, 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 blah. The one thing that is holding back Assault Mode Melee's team is A, he has no way to be buffed unless he is attacked. There are no commandments that buff commandments. There are no commandments with buffing abilities. Uh, some of them have debuff, like Melascula, if you don't attack or don't use something, uh, blah, 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 blah. And you have uh, Gary Ari who buffs herself. That does not no good for Assault Mode Melee. But you have nothing that buffs the entire team. Um, short of resistance and stuff like that. But I'm talking about attack-wise, attack-related stats like Green Gother does. And Red Gother does. Those are the things I'm talking about. They also have no ability to rank up. Only the Gothers that are doll form can use rank up. There are no commandments that have rank up abilities. So, eventually, you're going to have this Gother released. And it shouldn't be too far away, to be honest with you, because Chandler's already here. Um... Let's see, we're, we're getting close to where we should be having the, the Ominous Nebula Zeldris. Um, then you should see a Cusack, things like that. Now, I'm talking from the JP's perspective. You're just now getting to Assault Mo Meliodas in this one. And this is, was my main point. You boycotted a stupid-ass unit that you can't even use and got him pushed back to the point that where you should right now you should be on mk2 valenti's banner pulling for her and the new easton and all that you're stuck on a banner that's almost three to four months old you're stuck on an old banner that that is is no good it, the, the only th and it's a good banner not the banner is bad but the lead character is bad. He doesn't have the support he needs. He needs help. The only help that he will get will either be Chandler will greatly buff him in some way, since he is Salt Mo Melly's sensei. Or when this go through right here, go through the mage or go through the commandment is released. Because the doll is just a manifestation of the mage's powers 
used through the astral plane in a golem or a doll, whatever you want to call it. So he still has the same powers, the rank up, the attack cell, the ult control, but you're going to see him some way in this one character. Okay, he will probably have the same thing that he buffs members around him. Mm, excuse me. And yes, I know there's Zeldris. But Zeldris is a it's it's a one and done. You you don't get it's not continuous is what I'm saying. You you can get, you know, I think it's six percent per commandment, blah blah blah, and then that's it though. With with the other Gothers, you can go up to thirty five percent. Um you can rank up things, which is godly in this game. So take for instance <clears throat> And I'm the first one to ever build this team. And if you hear anybody tell you otherwise, they're full of shit. I am the first one to ever fully super awaken, max out, you are gear, cosmetic, blue frowder. Nobody has ever done that before me. I did that. And then somebody come along, not going to call any names, and uh, <coughs> speedy... <coughs> And uh, copied it and tried to say, look what I did. I'm insane. Da, da, da. No, you saw me and saw that it fucking works. Because once you max Blue Froder, you get his Reflect and Taunt. Which, unlike Esterosa's, to get it to last two turns, you need it to be gold. Do you know how hard it is to get a gold taunt without uh, Gother? It's damn near impossible. Do you know that Assault Mode Melee doesn't work unless you have all commandments? He's not usable with nothing but commandments. Okay. What's easy to get? Blue Frowdron's level 2 shield, which is a two-turn taunt and reflects 60% of the damage received. So for two turns, they can't do anything, no matter what card they get, but attack Blue Frowdron. And if they kill him, well, you know what happens. So, with him maxed out, just like you would any other unit, all the way to 80, fully super awakened, he actually becomes the one thing that Assault Mode Melee needs to function. But, his level 2, for some reason in this game, you will find out, I don't know why, even if you put him on the left, it is damn near impossible to get this game to give you a level 2 Blue Frowder and Taunt from the start. I have tried it on my JP forever and ever and ever, and it just does not work. I just I hadn't been able to. So, you take, for instance, that if you was to get this, this unit here, go through the actual mage, the actual commandment, with his ability to rank up, and him being a commandment, then what does that mean? That means he works with Assault Mode Melee. That means you put him, Assault Mode Melee, and Blue Frowdron on the front line, and you put Zeldris on the back line. You get Zeldris's buffs. You get Gother's buffs. You get Gother's ability to rank up Blue Frowdron, which could then turn into a Gold Taunt, which lasts three turns with a 100% reflect. You destroy everything that you come across. Because once you, you you would have to attack him. Because like take for instance my assault mode melee. He's fully maxed out, fully super awakened, six out of six, all his cosmetics are, are maxed out as max can be. You can't make a stronger assault mode melee. If you just stand there and I get to my ult, you're dead. So you can't just stand there facing me. You, you you can't. If I put up the the two turn taunt, and you kill Froudren, which is the only one you could attack, you instantly give me my ult. Do you see where I'm going with this? So you imagine this go through right here that you're seeing on my screen, assault mode melee, and blue Froudren. Yeah, exactly. So I'm telling you. Just hang in there, and you'll get a chance to use them. 
don't if you're free to play I don't know I, I can't I can't with 100% honesty tell you that the best thing for you to do is max out your blue frowdry if you're free to play because he has a cheese effect that works on a lot of things that make it easier for you to get upgrade materials and, and essential items that is, is pretty nice. You know, you can barely breathe on him and he dies and everybody gets their oil. Yay. But if you're a big dolphin or a whale, I would definitely advise it. Because once the commandment form of go through the mage comes to the game, you will see the strength of, of, of the team that I'm talking about. You will see what happens. So hang still for a second. I'm going to find something and show you. All right. I had to pull up my Twitter for a minute. My JP is on my other phone and I don't feel like going through that shit and there's no way to switch the video over. This team right here is what I use when I use Assault Mode Meliodas. Well, I haven't played JP since MK2 Bellini because that just really pissed me off. And I was spending upwards of $2,000 a fucking update. So that's two, three updates that they've missed with me. So I'm pretty sure they're starting to feel it about now i mean that may be not six thousand dollars in the grand scheme of things that ain't shit but you you do start to notice that people ain't bullshit when they say they're gonna stop using your service <clears throat> anyway point b this is him fully maxed out everything on him completely maxed as strong as you can fucking get him. He, he doesn't get any stronger there's there's no way to make him any stronger okay now Take away, the reason I run this team like it is, is because I have Blue Frogin for the Silver Car Taunt, which is two turn taunt guaranteed. If you kill him, you give everybody ult. Droll keeps the team from getting their ult for at least one turn. That way, in case they make it to theirs before I do, they're locked out for a turn. I'm not. And I put my melee on the left for obvious sides. I put Zeldris in the back for the little bit of boost that I can get. Which currently, if I'm not mistaken, is 24%. It's either 18 or 24. One of the two. But either way, take away this green droll and insert Mage Gother, the commandment, with the ability to rank up this blue Roger, to the point that he would have a gold reflect which reflects a hundred percent of the damage taken and if you kill him if you kill him you're fucked you're, 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 you're pretty much screwed in the game and not only that but let's go to this Yeah, both of those are Escanor coins. That's so sad. No, no, no. I just want to see the unit. He does shatter damage, which ignores resistance. Oh, excuse me. And this is his tone. Two turns reflects 100% of damage taken. This one stays at two turns as well. And it taunts. All the other ones in the game with taunts are only one turn so if you have him there you're good to go you're, you're Esterosa unless it's gold is one turn blue droll uh, I'm not really sure what blue droll is I think it unless it's gold it's um, one turn I guess they won't show me because I already got him anyway but yeah, I think unless it's one turn, it, I mean, still, I mean, to petrify tones, but in it, yeah, his is two turns, alright, but you're not reflecting anything, and you're just driving up your, and your opponent's resistance, 
I would rather use Green Draw, to be honest, because he's just way better. He, he locks out ults. Uh, to me, his, his cards are better. He had the ability to lock out Goddess Leah's, Green Gother. Uh, this is way more powerful. Detonate is a very powerful thing. Um, and then, like I said, his is unique. And his, um, ooh, see, it's two turns every time an enemy ultimate gauge reaches five orbs. So, you, you can't beat that. So, like I said, you take out Assault Mode Melee. I mean, uh, Green Draw, and you put in Commandment, Mage, uh, go through so just hang in there because your go through your melee is going to be useful if you're free to play please 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 stop summoning for this dude because unless you can max him out he's worthless you should have the one you should have been going for was the one because even with just one or two copies of him in geared or ungeared he is stupid powerful when you place him with somebody like Gother and his own ability to self buff that is the thing that is the key anyway sinners y'all have a good night this is the only prediction video I'll ever make I made the prediction video about Lolly Merlin about I don't know three weeks before anybody ever spoke about her I, if you were to go back and remember, I don't know if y'all can or not, but I said that it would either be Chandler and a new um, Zeldris or a new Zeldris and a new child form Merlin or whatever you want to call her. To me, I'm not calling her Lolly. That's fucking disgusting. It's a goddamn child. Anybody that, that thinks of her in any other way, you're fucking sick. But, yeah. I, I call that shit early. So this is the only other prediction video I will make. There will be a commandment go through coming. Not sure when. Couldn't tell you. But it won't be too far off. And Chandler. There's no telling him what he will do to help Assault Mode Melee. But by having boycotted Assault Mode Melee. Y'all have thrown y'all's. Um, what would you call it? Y'all's banner line up into chaos for a unit that was not worth any of the trouble you went through any of it everybody boycotted it because they weren't ready they weren't ready and able to get him that's why they boycotted him Seton led every one of y'all into a boycott for a unit that now that you have saved up and been able to get him you can't even fucking use because he's garbage so now how do you feel about yourself exactly you 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 could be on mk2 valenti right now or you could be on on a uh, small merlin and being ready for the next one instead instead now you've got to go through two more banners before you get to anything that jp is already on and we never used the salt mode millet we used him for like five six minutes he's fun against bots and against idiots that will attack you but other than that if you think he's worth a fuck you're an absolute idiot you really are because he's not he's garbage so have a good day sinners and uh remember the next time just because a person that has the most followers on something tells you to a boycott something at least think about it before you do it because now it just looks like absolute stupidity that global has done to itself for something that they can't even use because 85 percent actually it's 89 percent of y'all are free to play the the free to play assault mode meliotis is is unusable he you cannot use it you can't use it without cosmetics and at least four six or better you, you just can't. You can't do it. And I guarantee you, nobody free to play, truly free to play, 
has any of the commandments maxed out to the point to where you could have any kind of decent CC to even get in there and have a chance to do shit. So, in your heart of hearts, when you listen to this, you're, you know I'm right. Even if you don't like it, you know I'm 100% right. You got led into a boycott about a unit that doesn't even make a fuck. And now you're two banners, almost three banners, fixing to be three banners behind JP with some decent units like MK2 Valenti that you could have had, which is a badass unit. Uh, Little Merlin, she's she's good in the fact that it's hard to kill her first go. So she's a decent unit, but either one of those are way better than Assault Mode Melee. Assault Mode Melee does not have support, does not have the fucking units he needs to, to be viable, and he is not viable. He's not, unless you're somebody like Seton that can buy everything for every unit and find people dumb enough to attack him. Uh, that's, and now go watch his video also that he's going to make, because you know it's coming, called Bullying Assault Mode Mellis. Uh, assault mode melee because he's going to show you just how easy it is to fuck off assault mode melee and then you're going to try to have assault mode melee free to play <laughs> that's even fucking funnier that's hilarious so yeah y'all did this to yourselves so enjoy and just hang in there because Gother will be here eventually and you will have somebody that will make him usable Chandler may even take up that role too. You never know what Chandler could do. Don't go by what you see him do in the game because if that was the case, Tarmiel and Sariel would be two different, completely different units because what they did in the gameplay is nothing like what they actually do now that we have them. Not even close at all. Sariel's AoE didn't do shit for damage and block buffs and debuffs. That was it. That's all it did. Uh, Tarmiel's <laughs> shield was the same as Goddess Liz's, except it put a spinning wheel in front of you. It's nothing like that now. So, yeah, you have boycotted yourself into something that made no sense whatsoever just because some net marble shield that sits up there and is the head told y'all to. So for nothing... You have put yourselves back, and now you have to wait on something, and you've wasted all your gems summoning on something that's not even fucking usable. Enjoy. Have a good day.